Right. Uh, oh, it's been a while. Um, I've got a new system to show you, or, or at least uh, a lot of components that have become another system. Um, but today I want to talk to you about uh, streaming and um, uh, and particularly high risk streaming, but also again about you know I, I think I'm, I'm uh, more about compromises again about what you what you can sensibly do with um, a, a modest budget. Uh, so here's the uh, system today: um, Blue Sound Vault to a NAD M fifty one deck to a uh, Lin 2200 uh, to some uh, Kiwi speakers, or at least they were. These are from Image in Auckland, but um, I've replaced the drivers and the crossovers. That's a, a different project. I'll talk about that some other time. Um, but this is really where, where I'm at. I got the Vault uh, for streaming and for storage, for computer storage. I, I found out um, the hard way that uh, music from a computer through a USB is just not all that. So this is done through a coax cable. Um, in, to my mind, it's uh, uh, superior. Uh, and you've got a dedicated device which is designed for playing music rather than a, a laptop or a computer. Um, so that's feeding uh, the, the DAC. Uh, there is music stored in there. You can feed this device with CDs, you chuck them in, it stores them up, uh, but I haven't done that for a while. There's there's plenty on there, but mostly uh, these days I'm streaming, so I've been really keen to take advantage of streaming services and the high-res um, uh, services that are really coming to their own right now. So I finally um, managed to get myself away from uh, Apple, uh, from iTunes, it was a hard thing to do. I've been on, you know, I had, I had Apple iTunes for, for forever and I used it as a platform. I find it a, I'm just used to it. I'm used to the platform. Uh, so moving away from that was hard, but um, uh, these days I mostly use Tidal. Uh, strangely enough, I still use my Apple Music as a reference uh, because the because the library I built on it, but um, I play most of the music through uh, through Tidal, um, and uh, most recently subscribed to uh, the what is it called Hi Fi Plus or something um, to try and take advantage of uh, that high res uh, streaming. Um, and that's been a, you know, like for, for, since for forever, I've had uh, DACs that are capable of accepting greater than CD quality sources, but I've never found those sources very accessible and very usable. And, and Tidal seems to have been the one that's really um, made that accessible, has made a, a massive library of tunes available um, at greater than CD quality, and I think that's fantastic. Now I've I've got a current subscription to Kobus as well, and I'm trying that out. Um, um, but at the, for me at the moment, Tidal seems to be the one which really has uh, the majority of the music that I listen to uh, and uh, available in those higher resolutions. So that's really cool. Um, Using Tidal Connect on this Blue Sound is great as well. So I can basically use my phone, uh, uh, use the Tidal app, and get the device to stream the high res music. So I don't have to use a, a secondary app or anything like that. So I, I know a lot of people use Room uh, or similar platforms as a as a, a massive platform to access um, multiple sources. But um, I find it easy just to use the Tidal app and just to 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 use, you know, to use that connection to stream it. So that's really cool. Um, uh, getting this to work entirely, uh, this is an older uh, DAC. So this is, I think this came out in about 2012 or so. So it's not MQA um, compatible. 
so at the moment we're playing an MQA authorized track, um, and you can see it sort of it's well it's it's bumped it up. It's gone up to I think it'll be twenty twenty two um, uh, twenty four bit. Uh, and uh, 88.2 kilohertz. So it's, it's done the first stage of, um, of unpacking, but unfortunately the, this DAC won't do the next stage. But that said, it, this is still, you know, for me, it's a, it's, it's a, a leap, a, a giant leap forward from, um, uh, from CD quality music. Uh, it, it is that little bit extra. So, um, yeah, and you know there are other ways of doing this. So I could use, uh, for, for example, uh, if I used Cobus and and I can stream that through uh, through the Blue Sound as well. It's it's uh, it supports that. Um, then I can play lossless music through there. Um, but uh, I. No, this is working well for me and like the compatibility. So being able to do that, being able to use that app, use the Tidal Connect uh, through there uh, to get my high res music. Um, I was thinking at some point, I'm now gonna have to change, upgrade that DAC to something that is MQA compatible. But I just heard today that uh, Tidal are gonna look to uh, support uh, FLAC files as well so I um, don't think they've given it a time frame yet I think it's going to happen at some time in the future but that's kind of handy because I'm quite fond of that deck. Um, uh, is there anything else to show you on this at the moment? Um, I don't think so other than the fact that it's really useful to see to actually have a display that tells you what um, uh, the sample rate of the source is because you never really know you never you know so often um, uh, you don't know what you're playing and you don't know where it's coming from and with us with streaming becoming such a a high uh, you know it's a big it's a it's a massive part of um, of how we play music today and certainly how I play music um, so to be able to see what it is uh, obviously the proof is in the hearing it's it's what it's what you hear, not what you see. Um, but uh, being able, you know, being able to confirm that that the system is operating as it should do is kind of handy as well. Um, that's about it. I'm sure there was more, but uh, I'll uh, if I as and when I remember stuff, I'll post another video. Cheers.